Good morning, everyone. It is 8.01 a.m. on Sunday. I was up a little late yesterday at the uh, Carrie Underwood concert. Yeah, Carrie's a better vocalist than, than Taylor Swift. But Taylor's got more personality. I guess I'm gonna face up the blast miner anyways. It just it's not gonna do much. Cause I mean he's mono red. Oh well, unless I wanna plow. I haven't had my cough yet. It's brewing in the background. Kidding me? 33 players? That's what it was two weeks ago when uh, Just Me Baby and I did that dual commentary. And is Just Me Baby in this event? He is. I think uh, that lit up his 100 card singleton fire because uh, I think he was commentating that. Uh, can easily beat those decks. That uh, mono red is easy to hate out. But you know, red deck wins sometimes. <laughs> just wins. <laughs> you have like a fire blast hand or I guess freaking kiln teen hand. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. So if I flip it up and attack, that's pretty good for me, right? Yeah. Do I face up it and dare him to attack into me, or do I swing? No, I swing because he could sack the the mud brawler. Frickin' a. Let's so see his fire blasts. I'm looking pretty all right. Crap, I guess I can't plow the, the liege because I have to plow the click slither because any anything else I just sack. Yeah, oops. Should have played the FTK. Wasn't really thinking. As I mentioned, I have not had my coffee. Actually, if he would if he has burn, I lose either way. Because with the FTK, um, he would just burn it. Do I even want to... What am I getting? I already got all my dual lands, so I would get a mountain with that. And I don't really want to pay the... the life. So I'm probably not going to use it. The fetch land. But I need to kill the Zozu regardless. Mm-hmm. He's gonna get a 
the ringleader chain. Here. Oh, that's to kill the Johnny. Ooh, definitely not sacking the land. Seems good. Got more life than you now. And I don't know what main deck can kill an exalted. Oh, are you kidding me? Crap. Well, I needed to attack with the Exalted. Oh well. Then, red deck, red deck just wins sometimes. Hopefully, this this will get there. But as I just said. Red deck wins. That's not going to do it. Now, as I'm proving, Naya deck wins. Oh, really? Oh, he's just trying to find an answer. Unless he doesn't understand how Tarmogoth works and he's about to steal a fire. I'm pretty sure he doesn't understand how Tarmogoth works and he's about to steal... No. Because it, it was a five toughness anyways. The thing about red deck wins, you can't keep a, a hand like this, even though against any other deck, it'd be fine. That's a lot of lands. E Mulligan too, but still, that's a lot of lands. Oh, e Mulligan five. I always like to say, uh, if the red deck wins, you better have two plays in the first three turns, or else you're in deep trouble. However, <laughs> that assumes your opponent has seven, and I have six. Keep ripping lands. Interesting. He's going to burn something, huh? No gas from his double Mogan. Dare I equip Sophie and attack next turn? Or he just didn't feel it was worth it to uh to burn uh Zoneforge. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna not do that. Pretty sure I'm gonna play Wild Mongol and equip it. And I'm pretty sure um he's gonna have to take that because I have a lot of lands to discard, sir. Unless he blows up the artifact. You wouldn't main deck shatter. Um, what's that card called? Where you flash back. No, he doesn't. Uh, he might play that. Grudge. Um, sir, do you have a fire blast?
would have been fine for me too, because he'd have two lands left, and I'd still have my Sophie. Yeah. So red deck just wins sometimes, and as Jess McVay was saying, red red deck wins also is very easy to hate. Actually, that wasn't even cyborg hate. All these cards that I drew were main deck.